everyone, I'm back. I'm sorry for not streaming in a while, um, but I'm here today and let's see what we get up to today. I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing. I see the pumpkins are um, there. Probably the fruits will be on the trees. So um, let's let's do that. Let's. Um, I think I already did most of my decorating I'm gonna do for Halloween. I did finally do that spooky carriage that I talked about in the last stream. Sorry I didn't stream it. I, I did it offline. and um, But I'll show you guys the spooky um, carriage. It's right down here. Here's the spooky carriage. And then I also did, I think these are called spooky trees. You know what? Let's dig up the money while we're here. And we got a thousand bells. And then there's another thing that I've been trying to do. I've been trying to attract a fly, having garbage. I don't know if I should just have it somewhere in the, not in my garden, but like I have a boot and I have a can. I haven't been able to attract a fly. And I have all these rotten turnips. It's a lot of money I wasted just to like get an ant. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I guess I should probably put them someplace, some other place on the island. I haven't been able to attract an ant or a fly. Okay, but, um, let's, um, let's see. You know what, let's do, let's do the pumpkin first, the pumpkins first. Oh, and then I put a pumpkin la um, lantern over here, this one. And I took my, st and I put my star in storage. Um, oh, and then this pool, I put like a little, um, I changed the lights. I was able to get these blue lights, which I like better than the pink ones, even though the pool is pink. It has pink lights in it, I mean. And, um, I put, like, this little, um, well, it's not like a border, but, like, um, so it looks like it's, like, you know, like, on cement, like pools are in real life. So, um, I did that. I saw, um, a friend of mine had that on, when he let me visit his island. And I, I kind of borrowed from the way he, he had his pool on his island. Um, that would be, um, Super Mario Cat. He's a really good friend of mine. Um, and his island is really cool how he decorated his for Halloween. He put a lot of effort into it. Um, yeah, so I recommend you guys check out, um, Super Mario Cat. Um, he also streams on Twitch, Super Mario Cat. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen him stream his Animal Crossing Island, but, um, he streams, like, Minecraft and other, um, Switch games. He's really good at Minecraft, too. But I think we're just gonna sell these pumpkins, because... I'm not going to do any more decorating with the pumpkins. And, um, I think that's all we're going to do for this Halloween. But is everybody excited for the update? <gasps> Every, um, er, like, everyone's redoing their island. And everybody's telling me, like, I'm going to redo my island with the update. And, I don't know if I'm going to do my, I'm going to redo my island. Um... Some people are just, like, completely deleting their islands and, like, completely, re like, starting their islands over. I don't think I'm gonna do something like that, like, delete my island and start completely over, but I might change a couple things here and there with, um, what's available. But that'll be fun. For sure I'll stream when they do the update. 
and I am gonna buy the downloadable content. So you know, like you can decorate the rooms like really neat. Or you can even like split a room and stuff like that. That'll be really cool. And I think it adds an, ad I could be wrong, I don't know, but I think like you, it adds like an additional island you can travel to and um, you can decorate on the island and um, I guess get better at decorating, which I need. I'm not that good at decorating. And um, hey, it's a mad mom. What's up, mad mom? I thought you were going to sleep. Thanks for coming by. Oh, you're here? I'm here until sleep claims me. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for joining me. I wasn't planning to stream, but I hadn't streamed in like a long time. I think I was going on three weeks that I hadn't streamed. I'm like, oh no. I'm like, I need to stream at least once. And then with the update coming up, and I did want to show what I had done for the rest of the decorating I did for Halloween. Like as you guys noticed, I put in the fence, the, um, the pumpkin Halloween fence in, and the pumpkin patches. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna keep up the fencing um, for like the rest of the year. I'm thinking. The, with the update, there might be different fences available, so I might do that. Did you add s some... No, I haven't added her because the way Animal Crossing works, um, Mom, is you have to have played with the person. They've had to... Either you have had to go to their island or they come to your island, and then you can add them as a friend in Animal Crossing. I've added her as a friend um on my switch but not in animal crossing it's just weird the way animal crossing works you have to have actually played with that person so they can so you can make them your friend okay let's see let's drop the weeds over here so i can carry the rest of the pumpkins lame well yeah it's it's this is the way the game works and so I did I did add smug as my friend on my switch but um, that's why I was telling her on your stream that we need to play but I know she's kind of overwhelmed with everything going on in her life right now and so it'll have to wait Kobe has this game in Mario Kart. She does. Okay, I didn't... I thought... Yeah, but... Okay. I'll have to ask Kobe if she wants to be my Animal Crossing friend. She can come play on my island. Okay, let's go and sell the pumpkins. Okay, we're going to sell... We're even going to sell the orange ones. Because you know how you usually like to decorate with the orange pumpkins, everybody? But, um... We're going to even sell those ones because I'm... Like I said, I was, I'm done decorating for, um, Halloween. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, and a lot of other people, like, have done a lot more, but, um, I don't know, I wasn't going to change, like, all my pathways, and, I don't know, just, oh, but I did also put in, let me show you guys another feature I put in. This I found, um, I also borrowed the idea from someone else I had played on their island. Let me get that weed over here. Um, he had like an incline ramp 
going down to like where red um you know where he um he docks his boat and i thought that was the neatest idea but he had just one incline i don't know how he did the one incline oh look she's been hiding over here the owl let's talk to her Got a rest we got a recipe from her. Okay, well, let me go back to the story. Okay, so then I don't know how I did this one incline, so I ended up having to do two inclines. So like this is where red on my island docks. So I like the idea of just having an incline you can come up and down. So then I guess that means that like the rest of my villagers can come up and down. Obviously she can. So um well, she's a visitor, but, um, so I put this in. I did, I did this blue steel incline, or the rest of mine are stone to match my walkways. I don't know why I did the blue. I like the, like, I like the color blue. And this is one of my new features I added, everybody. And then I moved... Um, Dell's house, because you know how Dell's house used to be right here? I had to move his house to be able to do this. So it's over here, and it actually looks nicer, because it's like right in front of this water, this waterfall. It looks really nice. And also I gave him like a, a bigger little yard area. So, um, then I'm like, I've been thinking, like if I add some more hedges, like to go down this way. I'm not sure yet. Um. But, and then like I moved the beehives a little bit further over here. And then over here, that's where there was more flowers and trees. And I moved the other well over here. But, um, yeah, and then I kind of left this like my, my, my little sanctuary area with my stones and like the little gravestones. I don't know, maybe I'll get rid of these. I don't know, I think maybe it's a little morbid for this game that I have these, um... Well, I think for Halloween it works out to have the grave stone, the tombstones, but I don't know, like, for the rest of the year I'm, like, thinking maybe I shouldn't have them. So, I'm debating on that. I might get rid of them. So, okay, I just wanted to show you guys that cool feature I put, but... So, like I'm saying, I don't know how his name is, um, Latchy, and I don't know how he got just one incline. I'm thinking he doesn't have, like, the second cliff up here, but I had to do one for, like, each level of the cliff. So, um, anyway, so, I did that. There's pumpkins everywhere. And there's the arches. So, okay. You know, let's talk to Shep. I haven't talked to him in a while. And the villagers kind of like, you know, they don't, they get upset when you don't talk to them in a while. Yeah, see, he said it's been a while since we've crossed paths. I think I talked to him today. Because sometimes they, like, they get their feelings hurt if you don't talk to them. Or at least the villagers in my island get their feelings hurt. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't really played with other players. Now that I stream, that's when I've kind of opened up my um, Animal Crossing world up to other players. And I've played with them. Okay, so let's go back to my house, and we'll start, um, harvesting the fruits from the, the pears off of that, of, off of these trees. The reason I have the pear trees around my house is because this is the, in the very beginning of the game, when your mom sends you a letter, and she attaches, you know how she always sends an attachment? She attaches, um, a fruit, and this, I guess this was a fruit that was native to the island where I guess where I'm from, where I grew up in the video game. So, 
So that's why I planted them, since the, my mom in the video game sent those to me. So I thought, well, those should be the fruits that are around my that are the fruit trees that are around my house, since those are the ones that would remind me of home, or at least my character in the game. So that's the reasoning behind that. And some weeds over here. Oh, and there's some fossils. I think I'll get better, everybody, <clears throat> at decorating as I visit other people's islands. <gasps> oh no, my shovel gave out on me. I'll have to go home and get another shovel. But, um, like I was saying, um, I've been borrowing ideas from other people I've been playing, um, and I'm grateful they've invited me to their islands, and I've been able to get a chance to see how, um, see, see what they do on their island and how they decorate. And, oh, we also have a new villager. I forgot her name, but we got rid of Mallory. You know, Mallory was that purple duck. She was just, I don't know, it was like my relationship with her was going nowhere. And it was just time to give up. She wanted to move, so I'm like, you know what, Mallory, just go for it. Move. And, um, and I was like... And then I had a visitor on the island that day at the campsite. So I'm like, I was like, let's go see who this person is that's camping at the campsite. And if they look somewhat um, interesting, we'll invite them to move in. And um, they did seem somewhat interesting. Um, it, the, I don't remember her name. It's a her. Um, she's an ostrich. And I've never had an ostrich on my island. And then she kind of um, de is um, has like this um, Asian Japanese um, culture or, um, ethnicity to her. So that's what I like too. I'm really into Asian. Well, not just Asian culture, but Japanese. And so that's what I liked about her. Like, let's see if she's awake. Well, the lights are off, but let's see if she's asleep. Okay, I'm not home right now. And her name is Blanche. Okay, um, so her name's Blanche. That's a new person. See, see how the house has also changed? It's a different house. I still left all the garden stuff the same though. Cause that's, I added all the garden stuff and the hedges and the tulips. So that still stayed the same. The house does change with the um, new villager. So, um, so yeah, we'll see how, she, like, um, I'm thinking with her, since, um, she's into Japanese culture, I, if, I can probably give her stuff that, um, that's, um, has a Japanese theme to it, and hopefully get her, um, picture soon, I'm hoping, and hopefully that won't mess up her house and make it all, um, you know, all weird giving her, because I've noticed I made my other villagers' houses kind of like all mismatched, giving them different gifts like that. And I got to figure out how to put their houses back together or how to get a theme going for their houses, for the ones that I have done that. But, um, oh, and the other thing, I'm not sure if everybody noticed, I have everything like in, I have all the, remember before I had like all the fruits all mixed up together, all the fruit trees, and now I have them like in little groups now, like all the cherry trees are down here, and all the pear trees were up there, so I've taken the time to do that. I think I had shared that with you guys, but um, for those that haven't logged on for a while, because I've been, I haven't streamed in a while, I also did that, so I wanted it to be... Um, I know, look a little bit more uniform, so, on oh, the benches also, um, I crafted these benches, because remember before it was just the log, um, benches, and now this is like a, what well, I consider like a real bench, so I have those out now, 
and um, and then I kept some of the regular trees because I wasn't sure like if um, there would be times where I would just need to get stuff from the, these regular trees. Okay, whatever should I do? Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, Robin, what's wrong with Robin? Okay, today's simply not my day. I sat down. Oh, I sat down my favorite makeup bag this morning, and now I can't find it. It's all of the most fabulous cosmetics, and I just bought them too. Okay, want me to look for it? Yes, yes, a million times yes. Oh, thank you so much. With both of us looking, we might just stand a chance. Okay, so I guess we're going to look for her bag, her cosmetic bag. Okay, let's, um... Well, we should be going... We can just go all over the island and look for it. Um, she's... She doesn't go to sleep that early, so... Um, she should be up if I find it during the stream. Okay. Um... Oh, another fossil. There should be a total of six fossils, because I haven't logged in in a while. Let's see. How many have I gotten? Four. Oh, I didn't even do the recipe. A lunar lander. Okay. Oh, and then earlier on, um, earlier today, I did log on earlier today. I just didn't do that much. I just wanted to make sure I bought the candy for the day. Because you know how, like, during the uh, month of October, they sell um, Halloween candy. And you can only buy one piece per day. So when I can't, when I remember to, I do that. And Super Mario Cat was on, so um, he showed me his island, and I went to hang out on his island. And um, I don't remember where I was going with that story. Sorry, um, I'll remember. But let me go get the fossils assessed. Um, what was I t gonna t tell you guys about his island? I think I already told you guys how he had his island really decorated really nice for Halloween. Um, but, um, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. Okay, let's go set, um, actually let's get the apples, and then we'll go to the drop box. Oh, now I remember what I was going to say. Um, when I came flying back from his island, I think I saw a bag somewhere. Um... So, I think it was up on, like, either the cliffs or right underneath the cliffs, like, where the oranges are. So, I think that's where the bag, where Robin's bag is. That's what I meant to, I think that's where I saw the bag earlier. If it's the same bag and if it's still in the same spot, because I did log out, so I'm not sure. See, like, I have all the apple trees here around the museum. Let's pick up these weeds. And...
Okay, let's go. Oops, I didn't mean to trample my tulips. That's my move. Okay, someone else is upset. Goodness, everybody's upset tonight. Poncho style sweater, okay. I'm thinking I didn't like these poncho sweaters. Let me just Yeah, I didn't like it. So we are just going to sell it while we're at it. While we're at the drop box, we'll just sell it. It's like sorry Dell. I don't like those sweaters. Go do the oranges. Right now I'm trying to think where would be the best place to put those um, rotten turnips. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna just, before I end the stream today, I'm gonna just grab them all. Maybe I'll leave one in my yard and I'll grab the other ones and um, take them to different parts of the island. Maybe that'll help me um, Get that ant I'm looking for. Oh, look, there it is. There is the bag. I'm sure that's Robin's. Okay, let's get the fossil and let's finish getting the oranges. I guess I was wrong, it was on the cliff, but I knew I had seen it, so I was kind of, I was kind of right that I had seen it, but I thought it was on the cliffs. I guess it was here by the oranges. And I'm pretty sure it's Robin. Let's go up here. Let's go get the oranges that are over here. Oh, and then the other thing I finally figured out how to do was to use a wand and like to save different outfits um, using like well to save the outfits you can change between using the wand 
And then I found my Halloween wand from last year. So, um, you know what? Let's let me move over here. Let's stand over in the clearing somewhere. Okay, over here. Let me get my wand out, everybody. See, it's a spooky wand. And it has a jack-o'-lantern on the top. All right. So see, I've picked different outfits. So like this one is a skeleton one. Isn't that cool? This one is a cowboy. Maybe I should have named it Cowgirl. <laughs> I should probably rename it Cowgirl. Okay. And this one was like when I want to go like fishing, when I'm out fishing. I should have done a whole bunch of costumes for Halloween. I thought I mostly did do costumes, but let's see this one, the space one, like an astronaut. I was an astronaut a couple years. When I was really young, I wanted to be an astronaut, and um, I went as an astronaut trick-or-treating. <laughs> and this one's like my little black dress, like, you know, in case I get invited to a party or something somewhere, I just like... And this is my night one. I love this one, the golden knight. And then this one's my queen outfit. And then this one is Jack. You know, Jack is the one that um, does um, Halloween. He's the one that's, um, what is he called? Um, the czar of Halloween. So we'll be running into Jack. So I already have his outfit. Um, I don't know if they'll do a new outfit for um, this year or not. I wonder if it'll be like the exact same event as last year. Let's run around like Jack for a while. Or you know what? I did that last stream. So, let's see. Let's be a skeleton for a while. All right, let's put the wand away. Okay, let's look for Robin. Okay, they're talking, let's not interrupt. Or was she down here somewhere, wasn't she? There she is. I'm pretty sure it is, but let's just double check. It is, it's her bag. A tennis sweater, okay. Let's see, maybe I'll like a tennis, this tennis sweater. Oh, I can't change clothes because I'm, oh. Oh, okay. Didn't know I couldn't change clothes when I was transformed. Um, I guess let's... Alright. Now let's try it on. That actually is a pretty good look looking sweater. We're gonna keep it. I'm thinking I already have the sweater. That's why I like it, but... Um, we're gonna keep it. So let's move it over here. And let's change back to Mr. Bones. Let's put the wand away. And um, I usually transform the oranges into clocks so I can get more money for them. So um, let's see. I only have three pieces of regular wood. So let's chop some wood. Wow, two pieces of wood already. Oh, 
Oh, and that's another addition that I did. I put two um, floor lights over here at the campsite. Um, I don't know how that's... I thought it looked kind of nice, but I might just change them out. I'm not sure. I just got carried away because I was like, oh my goodness, finally some floor lights that look nice. Um... I'm not just I'm really not into pink so and I don't know why everything in the game at least in my version of the game wants me to have all the items that are pink <laughs> I struggle <laughs> it's my internal struggle why does everything have to be pink Okay, I think I need a couple more. I want to get up, I want to get to 20. So that way, oh no, my axe gave out on me. Okay, well that gets me up to 19. Let's go craft an axe. I think I'm just wearing socks, actually. Um, Cause I didn't think. Yes, I'm just wearing socks. Black socks. Um, Cause I didn't know what shoes to wear with my skeleton outfit. Um, so I just put on black socks. So I'm just running around in socks. Let's craft two flimsy axes. Um, Alright, let's go back to that side of the island and continue chopping wood. Is someone else upset? Goodness. Everyone's upset tonight. Okay, treasures. Okay, let's see. I might be interested. Earbuds combo. Um, no thank you. I have those. Bunny ears. Some high think these bunny ears are going to be pink, so we'll go try again. Captain's hat? <gasps> you know what? I think I need a captain's hat. Let's say, give me... That's cute. He's singing. Avery singing. Well, he was swinging until he was interrupted. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Chopping wood. Let's go continue chopping wood.
we'll just chop wood until this axe gives out. That's why I decided to um, craft two. And then the reason I use the flimsy axe and not the other axes is because all the other axes will actually chop down the tree. I learned that lesson the hard way. I was like, oh my goodness, I chopped the tree down. Which then actually ended up being a happy mistake because for some bugs, they need to land on a stump of, on a stump of a tree. And that's the tree that's in front of the shop. That's why that stump's still there. I didn't remove it. I felt sad for the tree at first. You know, like the Lorax in the tree, so I left the stump there. <laughs> and then I... This is a long... This is a while back. And then I noticed that a bug had landed on it. And I hadn't gotten that... I hadn't had that bug before. So I um, captured it with the net. And... Um, then I just left the stump there in case other bugs, and there have there have been other bugs that I've captured on that stump. And plus, that stump there reminds me about cutting down the trees, and not cutting down all the how I, sh I should not do that. Not the safest thing running around with an axe, but all right, this is a game. All right, let's move this axe up here. Um, this captain's hat will have to try it on. Um, but let's go and craft. Oh, <gasps> wait, hold on, the ant. Oh my goodness, everybody. <gasps> Let's get the net out. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy you guys were here. And see how it says yes? I mean, they haven't gotten it before. <gasps> we caught an ant, everybody. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm glad you guys were here to watch me catch the ant. Okay, you know what? Now we have to go to the museum. Just when I was giving up having those rotten turnips there, and I was like, oh my goodness, I spent so much money on those turnips, and they're attracting no ants. Okay, let's go donate the ant. That's what I That's what I always do. When I get an ants, a bug, or a fish, or a fossil, or a piece of art, I always come and donate it to the museum. Because I want to have my museum complete. So let's donate it. Okay, we're going to make a donation. I'm so happy, everybody. I'm so glad I streamed tonight. I caught the ant. Even though, like, the owl's, like, really weird about bugs. He's, like, scared of them or has some type of phobia. Fifty times its own body weight. Cool. I think someone told me that before about an ant. Let's get the fossil assessed while we're here. T-Rex tail. That's it. You know, let's go over here to the bug exhibit part. I want to see where the ant is. Where the exhibit is for the ant. Oh, that's where she is. Look, here's Blanche. This is the new person I was telling you guys about.
Well, anyway, this is a new um, villager in our village. I think she looks cute. And I like her in her little kimono. So I'm thinking I'm going to buy kimonos and give them to her. And I might even spend, since I have more bells now, now that um, I've been collecting my bells. But you know what? I sh I'm not going to spend the big bucks on the big kim the big expensive kimono they sell. Um, I got to, because, you know, because the, um, with the update coming, I'm not sure how much, like, the storage is going to cost. And I think, um, you can upgrade it a couple of times the storage now with the update. So... Anyways, before I get distracted, and you know, you know, you know me, guys. I get, <laughs> I get distracted so easily. <gasps> oh, look, they're fighting, having a battle. Let's see who wins. Oh wow! Guess he just flew away. He's like, ah. Uh, He's like, I don't want to get killed. Okay, let's see. It's not in here. It's not in here. I'm thinking if I ever find a fly, it would probably be here. See how there's garbage? Okay, let's keep looking for the ant. Oh, is the ant here? Oh my goodness, I think those are the ants. How cute. Okay, we're rice grasshopper. Uh, migratory locust. A long locust. Okay. And there's the ant. We found it. This is so cool. Now I have an ant in my museum. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I can't even talk straight. <laughs> but I'm going to leave the turnips out. I might... I know and I did discuss about putting them in different parts of the island. Um, I will. I'll leave that one there. And I'll move the other ones. So that way I can get an ant. Um, and see how much the ants are worth. I'm, I'm not sure how much, because, you know, I just donated this one, but it doesn't tell me how much I could sell them for. So. Okay, let's go craft the clocks. Oh, see, this is a stump I was telling you. See how the bug flew away? This is a stump from the shop. Just telling you guys that I chopped the tree down on accident. This is my Lorax. This is my Lorax trunk. <laughs> I know, it's, I'm over-exaggerating. I have not chopped that many trees. I actually have tons of trees on my island. But, um, and it, I don't know, it gets to me when I'm chopping down the trees. I don't know. Like, you know, like completely chopping them down. Okay, we're going to craft. Okay, we're going to craft this orange wall mounted clock that way we can get more money for it um, it's not like the, a lot more money but you know more bells or more bells because since the orange is my native fruit to my island I only get a hundred bells per orange which means 10 of the bells, I mean 10 of the oranges gives me a thousand bells. And I can get um, more crafting it into a clock. Almost there, guys. Okay, 
Okay. We're done crafting. Let's go to the drop box. Oh, and then let me... I already bought one. Maybe I'll buy, it, buy a second one. They have a Dia de los Muertos al, altar. Altar. I can't say the word. Al, altar. That they're selling at the shop. I did buy one for the house. Okay, we're gonna sell these. This. 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 This one. This one. This one. And this one. Okay. Now let's go get the coconuts. You know what? I'm just, I get so sidetracked when I'm playing with you guys. I want to like show you everything. Okay, look. Like, let's look at the ant. Let's see. Where is it? Honeybee. Where's the ant? There it is. Ant. See, it's, it's not the seasonality. It's like all year round, so I could get it all year and at any time. So that's why I was like, why is it so hard to get it? I'm like, it's, you can get it any, any month at any time. And it wasn't showing up. So I was like, really bummed out everybody. I was like, how can my, I can't get this ant. So anyways, and then it has, see how it has a little owl stamp next to the word ant. That means it's been donated to the museum. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you guys, the, um. I think I could, yeah, I should be able to do it from my phone, from my smartphone. Okay. Here in the seasonal items. See how it says, um, miracle decoration? But, um, it says Day of the Dead, and it has a flag of Mexican, the, not a Mexican flag, the flag of Mexico. So that's how I know it's an, an alt, an, uh, altar. <laughs> I can't say the word today, I'm sorry. Um. It's the um, Day of the Dead's um, um, altar. There, I finally said it. Um, and I did buy one, and I also bought one for um, Super Mario Cat, and I sent one to him. He probably already bought it, but I bought it for him anyways. And I bought one for um, also my other friend, um, my friend from Australia, um, Louchy. So, um, so I sent them both ones. Like, let me show you. See how it says send a gift? When someone's your friend, you can send them a gift. I didn't know that either, because, like, I never had friends. That, I had played people, played with people in Animal Crossing, but, like, I've never become their friend. And, but you know what? Let's place another order. And we'll have two. We'll have two for the Day of the Dead. We'll put them in different spots. We'll let Halloween go by, and then we'll decorate for Day of the Dead. Which is in November, the beginning of November. Which is right after Halloween. Because you have um, All Saints, which is November 1st. And then November 2nd is, um, the Day of the Dead. So maybe, you know what, I'll stream that night. Um, maybe I'll wear my mariachi outfit that night. I think I have a dress, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I think they caught something poblana, so, um, I could wear that dress for the Day of Dead. But see, it doesn't look like, it would be, actually it would be more appropriate if I wore the skeleton outfit than a mariachi outfit, or the dress, I guess. Because they're more, 
for another holiday than they would be for the Day of the Dead. I guess that could be the skeleton. I could just dress all in black. Oh no, you know what? I could be the skele- I could wear my skeleton, um, little jumpsuit, and I'll wear my sh um, my sugar candy, f um, face. That'll be perfect, everybody. I'll show you what I mean when we go back to the house. Or you know what? I'm not sure if I'll be able to put the face on. I have to undo the outfit. Oh, we forgot the peaches. Oh, no. Oh, we can still do them. Okay. I forgot to come to this part of the island. I'm telling you guys, today I'm like not paying attention. I did not mean to do that. Let's put that back in its place. And of course, it puts it in backwards. There we go. Okay. Let's get this message in the bottle. Hopefully, it'll be something new. Cool, it is. Golden wall. Let's, look, let's see what it looks like. Hmm. Looks like some type of like Aztec or Mayan type of wall. Okay, we'll do the coconuts quickly. Well, how much room do I have? You know, I think I have enough room for the peaches. So we'll do the peaches. We'll pick the peaches, and then we'll put those in the drop box, and then we'll go craft the coconuts. Because I also craft the coconuts into something else. And the good thing about the coconuts is I don't have to use any other materials to be able to craft them into another item where I can get more bells. I usually craft the coconut into the coke a coconut drink. Okay, now let's pick these peaches. Cause also coconuts are not as much as the other fruits. Coconuts are worth three hundred. I don't understand why they're worth three hundred, because um Technically, I still had to bring them from another island because um, I didn't have any palm trees. I had to bring them from another island. I think they should be. I think they should be the same as the other fruits, but I don't know. Maybe a coconut's not fruit. I don't know. I don't have to look that up, everybody. Hmm. I want to say coconuts are fruit. Not a vegetable. <laughs> At least I don't think so. I know it's late and I'm rambling if coconuts are vegetables. <laughs> They're not vegetables. <laughs> I don't need to look that up to know that they're not vegetables, but they're probably fruits. But that still does, that still doesn't make sense to why they would be of a less lesser amount. I don't know. Because there's only two per tree, but then you'd think they'd be worth more. Because there's only two per tree, and because all the other trees 
give you three. You know what? That doesn't make sense. Coconut should be the most expensive fruit then. Because you only get two per tree, not three. Hmm. I don't know. That makes no sense. Oh well. It is what it is. You know what? Let's change my outfit while we're at it. Um, let's take the wand out. And let's be... A golden knight. I'm debating if I'll be the Golden Knight for Halloween or the astronaut. Lena High shared with you guys that I was an astronaut for a couple. I don't know how many years I went as an astronaut. I think like I ended, I think my friends are like, okay, we get it. You want to be an astronaut? But um, <laughs> I was like an astronaut two or maybe three years in a row. I don't know. I'm still obsessed about space, you know. I follow NASA on social media and I'm involved in a club for aviation enthusiasts. And I don't know. It's one of my passions. Okay, that makes no sense. Why do I have four peaches? Did I miss two peaches? Oh no, never mind, it doesn't make sense. Because if from another tree, because it's an. It would be 10, and there'd be one left over from another one. Okay, never mind. Never mind, everybody. Oh, look, she's at her house. Let me show you her, her new house. Blanche's new house. It's. I'm telling you, it's all um, decked out with. Um, Japanese things. See, look. She has a little futon. Well, I shouldn't be lying on her futon. Um, a lantern. Look, she has kimonos. And then she has this kimono over here. She has her tea set. She has these bamboo. Shells. You know what I could get her later on that's really expensive? That dragon lantern. Huh. Maybe she'll give me her picture then. Well, I'll probably have to give her a couple of other things, but. Right now I'm not allowed to give her anything. It lets me chat with her. I forget how many days you have to wait to be able to start giving them. Wait, she's asking me a question. Okay. What do you do when you suddenly have free time on your hands? Okay, what do I do? I make other plans. I get housework done. I retreat to the couch. Okay, I would personally make other plans.
She likes my attitude. Alright. I wasn't I wasn't ready for that. I'm not used to them asking me a question back. It hasn't happened in a while. Okay, so let's go to the museum first, get the fossil set, then we'll come back to the drop box and sell everything that can be sold. Then we'll go craft um, the coconuts and then we'll sell those. Okay, now let's go to the drop box. Okay, let's sell the fossil. And now all the peaches. Okay, now let's go and craft. Who's singing again? Oh, Avery. Avery just loves to sing. I guess he doesn't like me watching him. Alright. Let's craft those coconuts. I guess everybody's cleaning right now. Oh, that's the other thing about the update. They say, it's, I think it says that you can choose when you want your villagers to be active according to when you play. So I think I'm gonna choose um, night for mine. Cause I'm usually, you know how you, you're up, well I'm up usually at nighttime playing, so. That way all of them will be up when I'm streaming. There's just going to be so much in this update, but then um, I've heard, I've read online, they're saying this is probably the last official update that they're going to do for Animal Crossing. I hope it's not. Even if they do ones that are like um, downloadable content and you have to pay for it, I, I hope they still do updates. I don't mind having to pay for the update. Maybe it's the last free update they're going to do. But technically not the whole update is free because part of the update is free. And then there's a downloadable content. So, um... And I think that you can pre-order the downloadable content. I'm not sure. I'll have to check in the Nintendo store. Cause when I did check, it didn't let me be able to purchase it at all yet or or do a pre-order on it. But I know it's like as we get closer to the date, if it'll let me do that. I just noticed, oops, I can't craft anymore. Let's go to the drop box. I just noticed you can see my eyes through the visor and look really cute. My eyes, my brown eyes, they look really cute in this helmet. Okay, 
coconut juice. No, what was it calling it a coconut drink? It's coconut juice, sorry. Okay, let's keep crafting. And I've made a lot of international friends. I met a lot of people, um, which I love. I love um, other cultures and international things while I'm streaming. Because, um, like, Super Mario Cat, he's from Canada. I forgot where in Canada. I want to say Ontario? Um, I don't remember, though. I think that's what he told me. And then um, Latchy, he's from Australia. And then, I forget what his name was. Was it like Mr. Beast or something like that? Um, he was from Italy. But he did not become my friend on Animal Crossing, though. And I haven't seen him since then. He did invite me on his island, on one of his islands. Well, first I was trying to get on to another island. He invited me to, and then like there wasn't room because there was like tons of people going on it. And then he invited me to this other island that he had. He had multiple islands. But um, and that's where I was able to get most of the flowers that I was missing. I'm still missing a couple of them, but um, yeah. But for some reason, I haven't been able to get them to um generate another flower. I just have like one of each. I have to figure out how to do that. Okay. Well, I only have three left. So to do oh well, let's go back to the drop box. Okay, cooking a juice, cooking a juice, cooking a juice. Okay, we just need to do three more. I usually keep 10 coconuts on hand in case I need, like I go to somewhere, like to an island or somewhere else and I need the energy that a fruit will give you, that extra burst of energy to be able like, to break a rock or, um, or something like that. So, or to dig up like a whole tree with your shovel. Even though I, I know I've gotten all the fruits available, and the trees, because I've gotten, um, I think it's just the bamboo trees that are different than, I could be wrong, because, um, like I said, I've been playing this lone wolf most of the time that I've been playing the game, so... Okay, let's drop off these last three. Okay, let's see. It's, I want, let's see. What should we be? Um, let's be, Let's me okay, let's be a cowboy. You know what? I changed my mind. Let's be Queen. 
Went from being a knight to being a queen. Okay, let's put this away. Let's go grab those, like I s mentioned earlier. I think I'm not wearing any shoes. I could be wrong. Let me sit over here. And then you won't be able to see. I know you were when I turned around. <laughs> I didn't know what shoes to wear. I need to put, have her wear some kind of shoes. I'm running around barefoot. I'm a queen and running around barefoot. Makes no sense. Okay, we'll leave this one here since obviously it worked to get ants. And hopefully we'll get a fly soon. Okay. We're gonna place. I don't want to right here my entrance though. Um, let's place them a little bit more where they're. Okay, we'll place it over here. Okay, one there. Let's do one over here. There's already ants! Oh my goodness! I cannot believe it was that easy, everyone. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm going to hold on to the ant, everybody, because... I won't get full price for it right now because it's a drop box and it only gives you 80%. So we're going to hold on to the ant. Okay, let's see where we're going to drop it. Let's drop one right here. Let's drop one into one right here. And we'll do another one. No, I you know what? We're not going to do it there because what if people come visit me and they'll see this rotten turn up as soon as they get from the, out of the airport. Not by the campsite either. Um. You know what? Let's do it over here, back here. This little area. Okay. We put them in different parts of the island, and we were able to get an ant so quickly this time. I can't believe how fast I was able to get that ant. You know, it makes me want to move that boot somewhere else. Maybe I'll get a fly quicker. Okay, we're going to leave this can over here, and we'll put the boot. Boot over here. Let's see if the other places already have ants. <gasps> Wouldn't that be exciting, everybody? Oh my goodness. If I knew it was this easy, I would have started throwing them everywhere. I don't know how long I Oh, there's more! Oh my goodness! Wow. 
this just oh my goodness I can't believe it everybody I'm like doing everything wrong well there's none over here Oh my goodness, there's more ants over here. Now I'm gonna have a whole bunch of ants. Let's go check up here. I can't believe it, everybody. It was that easy to get ants. I just got, I had to put them in the right place, I guess. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I'll get a fly tonight. I think you can get flies at any time of the day. Let's walk a little bit slower. No, that was too, that was hopeful thinking that there would be a fly there. Nope. Nope. We got plenty of ants, everybody. And we've got four. Hopefully they're worth a pretty penny. I don't know, maybe they... Nah, because they're ants. I don't know. You can get them all the time. All right, well, um, hmm, now I gotta figure out, Okay, well, it's not going to let me change my clothes while I'm... Okay. Let's put it away. We'll put the leaves away. The sweater away. The orange away. Oh, we w I want to see how this captain's hat looks. Oh, it's captain like sailing captain. I'm thinking captain like airline captain. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. Um. I didn't mean to do that, sorry. I meant to open the safe so I could change my outfit. Okay, um, let me show you guys the face I'm talking about, her mask, that I'll wear for the Day of the Dead with the skeleton outfit. You know what, I could just do this faster one. Here it is. It's candy skull mask. See, and that's kind of um, the way people decorate their faces for Day of the Dead. So I'll do this skull with the um, skeleton outfit. But um, since I'm gonna be do the skeleton outfit for Halloween, we'll wait till after that and redo the outfit with this candy mask. Okay. All right. Well, I think we accomplished everything, guys, that we set off to do today. I appreciate you guys coming by. And um, I appreciate everyone who came by on the chat, who's current, who came by the chat, and is currently in chat, coming by and saying and watching while I stream. And I appreciate those who watch my stream 
when it's not live, I do go through, I do go through my, um, Twitch and see how many views I have, and, um, I appreciate everyone who views it, and I appreciate all you coming by and spending time, sorry I haven't streamed as often as I was streaming before, I, um, will try to stream more often, especially when the update comes around, I will make sure to, um, I will make, I'll doubly make sure to stream then with the update. So again, thanks again everybody for coming by. I appreciate everybody. Everybody who was here during um, the stream and everybody who watches it um, later on. Alright you guys take care. Thanks. Until next time.